Alright, how's it going guys? It's all the Angry Nerd again, and today I'm going to be unboxing uh, two objects. Uh, here, let me grab one of them. Uh, this is a pop filter that I got for my graduation. Um, I know how to make pop filters also. So, like, it'll just, uh, like, I'll show you guys how to, like, hook it on to whatever. And, uh, another thing that I'm going to be unboxing today is, sorry, I'm out of the mic. Or not out of the mic, out of the cam. Uh, is this big fucker right here. You guys can't see it. It's, uh, well, let, let, let me see. It's a, it's a blue Yeti mic. Kind of got a shit uh, view of it. Here, let's stand up. Right here. Uh, blue Yeti. This costed me about uh, $175 plus tax for Canada. This motherfucker is supposed to be the best of the best. Like, it has all these, like, little instructions here. If you guys want to, like, pause and I'll just, like, show you. So, uh, it's a USB plug-in. It's good for, um, what's it called? It's good for, uh, it's good for stereos, uh, and, they're, and they have five modes to it. So I can do one for Let's Plays, podcasts, and other things too. So, um, it also has on the bottom of it a uh, USB jack. Um, uh, it has like its own built-in stand. Um, it's it's metal, so that's a good thing. <laughs> and um, I heard it comes with its own program and everything. So, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, let's unbox this fucker. Alright, hey guys, I'm back with the unboxing. I just need, needed to move some stuff around, so I just decided to cut it out. And, um, I'll probably edit that part of the video, because, uh, I cut it off. Like, first thing we're gonna get into is, uh, a pop filter here. It's supposed to make when you say pop, or, like, pop goes a weasel or something like that, make it sound better. <laughs> and, um, yeah, it's, it's supposed to be, uh, like, make you sound better, too, like, if you're using a high-grade mic, because you're probably going to tell when, um, I set up the, uh, the Blue Yeti right here, you're going to tell, like, difference in quality and audio compared to all my other shit, so, you know, let's un unbox it right now, going to move you guys over there. And, uh, th uh, thankfully to some people where we, uh, bought the pop filter, they gave us a, uh, a thing for, or, like, some, some type of thing, I forget what it was, uh, like a discount to buy another one of these. So if it gets, like, busted or doesn't work, and you can see on this, um, you guys can't, probably can't see that well. Here, give me a second. Uh, this little adjustable thing right there, uh, you can you can adjust it with a like probably Phillips screwdriver or something, and it can uh, it can clamp onto anything. But uh, I'm I'm just trying to see if I can like fix this myself if it ever gets busted so I don't have to like take out the money. But no, it doesn't look like it. And here's a little uh, little thing right there. I'm a little bit too close. There we go. Here's a little pop filter thing. It's really nice. It feels good. It's nice and tight. Something that I want to see in a product. So, uh, where is my knife thing? And this time I'm doing this out in my living room, too. I just got home from work. So, uh, yeah, let's unbox it. Okay, why you gotta be so tough on me, camera? Okay. okay. Hopefully I don't need to use this, because I kind of want to keep the box in one piece if you people are kind of like me, and if you want to return something. <coughs> like, if it gets, like, damaged or busted. Okay, I might need to shine the light on a little here. Okay. It's like I would like to rip this fucker open, but... I definitely want to keep this if I ever need to. <clears throat> okay, good. Nice and easy. No fuss. 
That, that's what I like about boxes, too. This is what it should be like. Okay, no, uh, uh, no box cutters or anything required, unless you want to just tear it open. No, oh, okay, nope, okay, I, I lied. Yeah, there's a little nub on here with, uh, uh, with, like, tape and stuff, but either way, that's easy. Uh, here is the Yeti, uh, fucking, uh, handbook or guide or whatever to use it. I don't really use any of these, but it's good if you need to use them and you're new with it. Oh, holy shit. Alright, um... Oh yeah, what I didn't show, uh, here's a USB cord, it should come with it, and if it doesn't, call your, uh, store wherever you got it. I got it from, uh, what was it? Uh, I got it from Future Shop, and, uh, they've been pretty good since I've ever started, like, buying stuff there, like, I haven't bought games or anything, but, uh, yeah, it's a good store. Okay, this fucker's stuck. Alright, come on. Yeah, sorry about this. Like, see, it's like, fucking, it, it's stuck. Like, it's stuck in its thing. <clears throat> like, I don't want to mess up the phone. Or whatever. Alright, come on, baby. Come on out. Like, I could just, like, rip this open if I wanted to, but I really want to save this so I can have it in perfect condition because I've had a bad tendency, like, to rip open stuff, like presents or anything. There we go. And, uh, here's the, uh, here's the mic itself. It's really nice feels really good. Uh, you can swing it around. Uh, I think you can like tighten it too. Yes you can, nice. So I like, most probably how I'm gonna have my mic here. So I can't really like move my mic back, but uh, yeah, that's probably how it's gonna be. It's just gonna be standing like that so I can have my uh, thing on here around it but I heard that I have to like morph this a little bit because it doesn't really fit that great on it uh, overall it was kinda easy to unbox no bullshit at least came with two things nice and easy uh, I don't think there's gonna be a program I think just when you like get it in like it sets up but here um, now that I unboxed it, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to move my computer again, and we're just gonna cut this part out. Okay, come on. Alright, now I'm back with some more of the, uh, unboxing of the Blue Yeti. That, it seems really good, like, really nice. I haven't, like, plugged it in or anything yet. It's just, like, I want to show you guys, like, the functions, um, on here. Um, on the, sorry, I need to turn that back a little. On the front of the Blue Yeti, it has a mute and volume, so it's like you can mute, mute your mic or, like, fuck with the volume. I'm not touching it right now just because it isn't even plugged in yet. Uh, on the back, there is, I think, gain, and gain is, like, for your voice, or, um, or, you know, like, something like that. It'd be if you want your voice to sound, like, higher or probably, uh uh, sound, um, like, have your voice sound more booming or something, like, I don't know, I'd probably have to look that up again, I'm not a, like, tech whiz, and then there's four modes, um, the main mode, mode for me, uh, that I'm gonna be using is, like, the commentary one, it's, uh, the third mode, where it's just, um, 
like, say, if I have my mic, just, like, you're not going to see it, but, like, if it's sitting in front of me, it makes, like, a pattern like this where it comes here. So it would probably, like, pick up the fan or whatever back there, but it wouldn't pick up anything in front. And that was one of the annoying things that I had to do for my videos. Uh, I had to turn down my TV, and I'm probably still going to do it just because to make sure that there will be no background like echo like i'll probably still do my same old thing but i got this big bastard here and um on the bottom it has the usb thing that plugs into your pc to the mic um so something really cool that um i like, if I get enough money, I'll probably buy a stand, like, to see uh, how different quality will be compared to having a, like, just a little uh, little stand like this to, like, one that plugs into the back right there. Here, I'll show you, like, the little buttons and stuff. Like, um, there is the uh, microphone thing, and then, like, the... I think for a bipod thing, where you just, like, shove it in there and it stays in there. And overall, um, this feels like a really good buy, and I'm happy that I got it for my graduation. Then, and if people are thinking, oh, the bottom's going to scuff up your table, uh, it shouldn't, because it's, uh, it has this foam stuff on there. That, and if, if you're just too protective of your table, you could probably just get, like, uh, you could, like, cut around, like, a circle of foam, and then just, like, put it there. But, um, yeah, overall, this thing looks really good. I can't wait to try it. Um, honestly, I'd say buy this over any other mic. And this is to some of my friends out there also, like, uh, Jesse, because, um, like, I know he wanted to do YouTube videos, too. And this isn't, like, dissing you, Jesse, at all or anything. Like, I wouldn't do that. But, um, I did check out the Blue Snowball mic, but, um... Honestly, it really isn't that good. Um, like, there's a lot of problems with it. Um, I've checked out voice tests and everything. I was going to buy a Blue Snowball mic. I'll probably po post a picture on the side to show you guys. It's like this little, like, ball thing. And uh, it's supposed to be good for beginners on YouTube or whatever. But, um, uh, like, if you want a cheap mic, it's good. But I heard there's delay and all this other shit that I don't really need. Like, I want my commentary to sound good. And then I checked out the AT something. I heard that's really good, too. Um, I was going to buy it, but then when I saw the price, I was like, well, um, if I'm going to go for the... If I'm going to keep doing this and keep making videos, I'm going to go for the best of the best. I'm not going to... Uh, <laughs> like, I'm, I'm not gonna want in, like, two or three years to have to buy another mic. Like, I want this thing to last me, like, long, so, uh, that, and I want to do more than just Let's Plays, too, like, um, this just overall is a really good mic, like, um, I heard the bipod on the AT whatever is good, but it's, it's, eh, like, it isn't, like, solid like this. And, like, I'm not going to be, like, throwing this thing around, obviously, but you can see by, like, it being metal and everything, like, uh, just, like, I would prefer having a design like this on that thing. Like, yeah, maybe this will be kind of hard to, like, say if you're on trips or whatever, like, carry around with you, but, uh, I don't know, it's not really that hard to, like, make do with it, like, it takes up about, like, this much space, you can probably find out a way to do that, um. So I'm just plugging in the rest of this now. I'll probably end the video and then come back with a mic test. And I'll show you guys the difference between a... Sorry if you guys can see my hair or whatever, but... Uh, uh, do like a mic test to see like the difference between my regular mic compared to this fucking bad boy right here. And, like, I'm really stoked to use this, like, uh, like, it's, oh, yeah, and here, let me fuck around with the, the buttons, too. Um, the two little knobs on the side, if you can see them, uh, they're really nice because they're easy to, like, spin back and spin off. Like, I could probably take this off, like, I'm gonna show you guys without it on the bipod or whatever. 
It's just easy movement. It's it's good, and it even comes with its own washers. That's good too. Like that is very good. It comes with washers for both sides. And if you guys don't know what a washer is, it's uh, something that keeps something in place. And I do really like that they did that. That is, uh, that's good. I'm just trying not to lose all my pieces here. So, there. Got the little washer there. Put that one in there. Put that one out there. Alright. And now the base thing is right here. So, they, like, it's not that heavy. It's light. You can, like, you, like see, it doesn't not that heavy. Um, it's drilled straight through. You probably can't see just because I'm using, like, a $10 camera. But for me, it's, like, I can see, um, like, it's drilled and it's good. Um, and that's, like, another thing. Like, you could probably, like, have your mic, like, to be up here or whatever if you got, like, a bipod or something. So, um, assembly is easy. Nothing to assemble here. Oh shit, sorry about that. Nothing to assemble here. It's really just, uh, shove it in, uh, make sure the washers and everything are on correctly. And then, yeah. So, how do I do that again? Okay. Uh, the blue part was out. And I might just put something on here. Uh, we'll be back again.